And I forgot how much I love the main menu music, too. Hello, guys, this is Universal Giant. Welcome back for more of Let's Play Mario Kart Super Circuit. Last time, we took on the extra Mushroom Cup. Today, we're going to be moving on to the Flower Cup. Has any Mario Kart game not had a Mario circuit? Why do I have to think about this? Oh, good lord. It's gonna be one of the games that I've already mentioned that I haven't played that everybody's gonna point out to me. Why do I ask questions? But Mario Circuit, it is in the shape of Mario's head with the cap and everything, which is kinda nifty. I know it took me a little while when I was a kid to notice that, which seems a little bit silly. I mean, you would think it's so obvious with the mini-map in the corner over there what it was supposed to be shaped like, but of course I didn't get it. And over there are some coins and a dash pad if you can hit it. I'm usually not good enough to hit it with the mushroom because I'm not good at video games. But one thing I wanted to mention now that we have them with the triple shells, the green shells and the red shells, you cannot fire them backwards. So the green shells you would expect you'd be able to fire them straight backwards. If you have triples, you can't do that. And with the red shells, you would expect you could be able to set all of them as traps. Can't do that either. So, as much as I'd like to use that boo item, I'd rather hold on to these green shells for protection. Now, generally, in 50cc and 100cc, the AI won't use too many items on you. Like, you won't see too many blue shells, or too many boos, or too many lightnings. But with how many we saw in the first two videos, I'm glad I didn't mention them in the first two videos. But very clearly, unlike Mario's Kart 64, they will use blue shells and such. So just because you're in first place in a human player doesn't mean they'll take it easy on you. And I'd also like to say that the difficulty in terms of item usage against you is more intense as you increase the engine classes. But generally, I like to stick to 100cc, so I don't generally notice it. But if I didn't stress it enough in the previous video, running over a ledge so much as with a single wheel of your cart will send you flying off into the abyss. You have absolutely no room for error in terms of that. Which is why I generally don't like taking this one here if I hit a wall afterwards. But if you try to cut a corner or something, you will almost certainly not make it. So be very careful of that. But Mario Kart Super Circuit, I believe, was released as part of the 3DS Ambassador program. So many of you may have already had access to it, and I'm just not aware of it. Or, I mean, not being part of the Ambassador program, I'm not entirely clear on what games were available for it and what weren't. But I think Super Circuit was one of them. And it's a game that... I'd like to say it deserves more love than it gets, because I'm looking at it through my nostalgia goggles. But, I mean, just based on the drifting scheme and the couple of times I tried to come back to this game after having not played it for a little while, and yes, there was a shortcut over to the left that I never, ever take. I am aware it exists, but I never take it. I do recognize that the drifting is bad enough to warrant Probably not picking it up if you already have something like 7 or 64 or Double Dash or Wii, but it is it is worth a play if you just want to get a look at a better version of what Super Mario Kart could have been. Of course, you don't need me explaining that to you at this point. I mean, if you're still watching at this point, you don't need me to sell you on the game. But here's one of my favorite courses in the entire game, Cheese Land! It's like being on the moon, except it's made of cheese, and it's all happy, and there are blue mice all over the place, and there's this one particular shortcut I didn't know about when I was a kid that I'd hoped to show off today, maybe? I don't know if I'll be able to get it to work. It's very... Uh, tricky for me to do, but if you're able to get the jump over here and hit those jumps over there, you can bypass that whole extra turn. It's very unlikely that I make it, but I do really love when it does work. And I think there are a couple of them in some of the later Mario Karts, like Seven has a couple of jumps that you can do like that. 
but there are only a handful of them you can do here. And they're really fun to pull off. Very tricky to do in time trials repeatedly, though. So if I can do this right here, there you go. Wonderful. I love when I'm able to pull that off. You just feel so good afterwards. But, yeah, if you... I thought I broke after that. I guess I didn't break hard enough. If you hear yourself start sliding like that, just like in Mario Kart 64, you can save yourself from slipping out if you hit the brakes just right and time it perfectly. I guess it doesn't have to be too perfect. They do give you a little bit of leeway there. But, yeah, that's what happens if you don't make the shortcut. So, hopefully, we will still be able to finish... Wow, we've got a hell of a lead on Luigi. What happened to Peach? I thought Peach was Toad's arch nemesis in this game. Because it always seems like either Peach, Yoshi, or Luigi is really tailing me when I'm Toad. Almost tempted to call them my rivals. But I want to say that your rivals will change depending on who you're racing as. And I'd also like to speculate that it's based on what your weight class is. But having used the others so infrequently, I really can't say that for sure. It'd be kind of neat, though. But already we've got our third Bowser's Castle of the LP. Three cups, three Bowser's Castles. I don't like taking that dash pad. But Bowser's Castle 2, it's pretty nifty. I mean, they've all got lava, they've all got jumps, and this one introduces the chain link fence that you drive on and rattles the entire screen up and down, makes an annoying noise. Which I hope doesn't get too annoying, but the thwomps are here, and hopefully those green shells will hit somebody. It'd be really nice. You do also get a boost from how many coins that you have, as well as counting towards your ranking at the end. Your ranking is based on where you place in terms of your trophy, how many points you won by. I think in order to get a star ranking, you need to have come in first in all four races. And from there, it depends on how many coins you earn. So, as you can imagine, it gets very frustrating, especially when you have no coins, that you spin out completely whenever anybody else hits you and you lose a couple of coins. Them? You're gonna use a red shell on me, ain't you? Son of a gun. They don't lose anything when they hit you. In fact, at least when you're using a lightweight character, you get pushed around like nobody's business. But considering my rivals are generally in my weight class, it's unlikely that I run into many Bowsers and such. But other than that, Luigi, you are not getting past me. It's very frustrating, especially at the beginning of a race where you get bumped a couple of times, you lose all your coins, and anytime somebody so much as brushes against you, you completely spin out. Hopefully we don't get too many of those. But that does it for the Flower Cup. These are going by incredibly quickly. Next time, we'll take on the extra Flower Cup and get back to some of the SNES courses. This is Universal Giant. I'll see you then.